everybody, Stan Horch again for PopFoto.com. I apologize if it's a little noisy in here. Uh, I am at the Microsoft event where they are announcing the brand new Microsoft Surface Studio. Um, basically, what this is, go over here and watch this demo that's going on. Um, basically, what this is is an all-in-one computer, like sort of like an iMac, which I can't say too loudly here at a Microsoft event. Um, but it has a 28 inch screen and you can see you can sort of tilt it down so it goes at this drafting table angle Are you a um, and it actually sort of in a way it feels like one of the Wacom Syntex so that it's a display that you can actually write on. It uses the Microsoft pen um, and you can sort of flip through your photos and then you can actually use the pen as an input device uh, in order to edit the things like Photoshop and, and photos and everything like this. One of the cooler um, features of this, however, is this little guy here. So what that is, and I'm going to walk around a little bit over here so you can see some drawing that's going on. What that little thing is, is the Microsoft dial. And what the dial is, is it's actually an input device. And as you can see, she's using it here. But when you turn it, it actually changes some of the settings that are happening on the screen. Um, so she just used it to change the color of her pen. So if you're using this in uh, Photoshop, you can use it to change the size of your brush. You can use it to zoom in and out of a photo, which is what I was just using it for in Photoshop a minute ago. Um, you can use it to, in, in theory, you could map it to all kinds of stuff. If you want to use it in Lightroom, so if you want to like use it to scrub through photos, if you want to use it to scrub through videos, um, it, it actually seems like a really useful thing because if you have the pen in one hand and then you have the dial in another hand, and you can really do a couple of different things, which seems really, really cool. Um, we'll go back over here. They're doing some more photo stuff over here. So you can see over there, he's tracing around the photo. This is actually one of the new, uh, well, this is a super new service, um, running Capture One. Uh, so they already have photographers in mind. This is uh, part of Windows' new creative update, uh, creator's update, excuse me. Uh, so it looks really, really cool. I, I'm not, an artist in terms of drawing, but watching people draw on something like this really makes me want to actually try it. And you, you know, the 28 inch screen, it has 192 PPI if I'm not mistaken, so that's 13.5 million pixels on the screen. Um, it's super powerful, it's really thin, they're calling it the thinnest uh, display that you can get. Um, yeah, it is. You know, a serious, it's a tool meant for serious creative professionals, so it comes with a basically $3,000 starting price, which is, you know, it's not, it's not exactly cheap. Uh, yeah, the screen is a little reflective. We're also in a room where there's entirely windows. Um, like, this is a super, a room that's, you know, really not set up for anti-reflective technology here but the computer itself is extremely powerful it's got a core quad core uh, Intel uh, i7 it's got a two terabyte hard drive to start it's got a uh, it's got a, uh, even 2.1 speakers built into the little box that it has which is you know pretty cool there's a lot of stuff jammed into this computer so I'm actually really looking forward to getting to try it um, it is you know like it is it, People are saying it's expensive, and that's not entirely unfair. Uh, this is the first generation of this product, though, and it is meant for sort of professionals at the moment. And it'll be interesting to see what, how much adoption it really has. Um, you know, if you think about if you were to buy a Wacom Cintiq, you know, and a computer, you know, and all that stuff to run it, like if, none of that is cheap. Um, so. You know, you have to consider you have to consider the competition. You have to consider sort of the marketplace. Um, you can see again, there's that dial in action. I think that's going to be one of the really cool things that uh, really comes from this. Um, the dial is sort of reminds me of when Microsoft Surface sort of initially existed. There were all these cool demos of like people eating off of them at restaurants and like putting down their drinks and the. the sort of a tablet knowing that their drink was empty and ordering them a new one. And I think we're starting to see that kind of cool stuff now with this touch interface. Um, anyway, 
Uh, I'm gonna get some more hands-on time with this pretty soon, hopefully, and we'll hopefully bring you a full review once it becomes available. Um, again, they're starting at about $3,000. They said they're gonna have limited numbers of them available uh, before the end of the year. So, honestly, it looks awesome, and I'm excited to play with it. Anyway, thanks guys. Be sure to stay tuned to popphoto.com for all of your photography news, how-tos, and reviews. I'm Stan Horacek. I will see you next time.